car airboxes and it's time to challenge an urban myth. Fitting a pod filter has become one of the first modifications that petrol heads make to their cars these days. Why? Because you young tyros think they look cool. Oh dude, you fitted a pod filter. Because you like the induction noise. Listen to my baby roar. And because you think they increase power. But since when does an increase in induction noise equal an increase in power? No, in my humble opinion, if you've fitted a pod filter, you've probably decreased your power for two reasons. If your alteration is drawing air from inside your engine bay, you're feeding hotter air into your motor. And if your pod filter is not in a ducted, pressurised air box, you've decreased the airflow into your engine. Although it's almost impossible to buy an air box for a pod filter, you won't believe how easy it is to make one and duct it so that you can get the coldest pressurised air feeding into your filter. Want a low budget alternative to an expensive racing bell mouth? On a number of race cars I've built, I've just used these PVC stormwater pipe fittings. You can buy a collar that goes on there. The whole thing cost me about 10 bucks at my local hardware store. Bog it into your car, paint it, put a bit of mesh over it, duct it, it works. <laughs>
Well there's the finished fiberglass housing for the pod filter. All it needs now is a round backing plate attached to the filter with a curled up edge so that you can screw it into the back of the housing. How easy was that to make? And now for something completely different. Let's move from housing a round aftermarket air filter to a rectangular factory one. This air box from the Accord V6 I swapped in a Civic almost fits but it's ugly as heavy and it really needs the outlet re-angled so it's time to develop this component the new box will need to be in two pieces like the original one and have an inlet and an outlet pipe and I also want to copy the way it mounts the filter at a sloping angle my new design needs to be guided by the size and the shape of this filter that I want to retain. And it needs to fit where the new airbox needs to go in my engine bay. I don't want sharp edges on the top of the box lid or on the corners so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this quarter circle small quad in there and that'll round the edges off. I've added four little tabs that'll help when I bolt these two halves together and I want to build a flange around the filter to fit that rubber seal. So I've cut out a piece of masonite that'll fit round it and I'm going to add that onto the top of the lid and it's got tabs that match up with the ones I added to the bottom half. Well as you can see the real work in this project has been making the two boxes. The glassing is going to be the easy bit. I'm going to use carbon fibre because that's the look I want but once again you could just as easily make this project in fibreglass. All I've got to do now is give this two coats of clear resin to just seal all the timber from the uh, chemicals.
second airbox, I learnt to use neutral PVA next time as some of the blue colour seeped up into the clear resin layer. And making that flange around the gasket was a waste of time really because I couldn't pick up the detail in hand laying. Hopefully you learn a couple of things as well. Now it's time for me to go racing. <laughs>